everyone. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you in this quick demo is antennas, and specifically a feature that we have in our software called in situ antenna simulation. So here's the issue. Uh, what you can see right here uh, before your eyes is a four, uh, 4x4 patch array. We're going to run this in Axiom, and you can see the mesh from Axiom, 16 cells. And I also have an annotation. I'm showing the antenna pattern uh, for a given excitation. Of course, we have the ability to change the phasing and the power coming into each element so that we can scan the array. What's different about in situ simulation is the, is the following. These, this antenna, this 4x4 patch array, is actually being driven, of course, by power amplifiers. And in particular, we're putting a power amplifier under each patch. And let me go ahead uh, and show you that a little bit, how that works. And what we can see here is in this schematic, if I bring this up, you see uh, before you, the uh, over here where my cursor is on the right, we're actually just feeding some power from a perfect port in. Uh, we have these Wilkinson dividers, we split it out, and then we come into the 16 patches. As we come into them, we go through these little purple boxes, which are actually uh, the, um, a combination of an attenuator, a phase shifter, and an amplifier. So as again, as I zoom into this, you're seeing here the little modules. And then as we go into them, you can again see finer and finer detail till we get to one of these transmit receive modules. And what I wanted to show you is this. And notice what we've got right here is we have, of course, uh, you're coming into one of these modules here on the left where my cursor is. There's an attenuator, and this is controlled by an equation in the software. We'll change the overall attenuation of the array. And then we come here to a phase shifter, which again we can control by equations. And then what's different here is notice this subcircuit whole amp. And if I right click on this and enable it, and then we punch down into it, and we have some um, matching networks. And this is what it is. It's actually an entire mimic circuit. We actually have a two-stage mimic on each one of these. OK? Now, what that does is the problem here is the following. is So the various mimics uh, excite the array. But the mimic, the amount of excitation, because it's a power amplifier, depends on the phase, on the load that it sees from each element of the array. That load changes as the array scans. Therefore, the power coming out of the amplifiers is dependent on the beam angle. And so you have this coupling between the circuit simulation, where we run harmonic balance, and the S parameters of the antenna file. Well, with in situ, you can actually couple those two measurements together very easily. If I come over here to my graphs just very quickly uh, to show this, if you look at uh, a number of these measurements here, notice there is this field here that says, this is one of the classic antenna measurements here, total power. And if you look right here, it says excitation circuit. So what it's saying is, what circuit is exciting me? What circuit is exciting the antenna? In this case, it's one of the mimics. So by carefully controlling this, we can actually have the pattern radiated by the antenna coupled back into the circuit so in one fell swoop you're getting both effects together instead of having to carry out an iterative process. Let's just show you a couple uh, pretty pictures here very quickly. Um, first of all, the circuit itself, here's your classic mimic load pole. Uh, the, the designer is running various load poles to see where uh, he or she would like to have the uh, active array impedances. Of course, we're maximum power transfer. Uh, again, here would be uh, more load pole type things. This is actually looking at the input 
impedances to the array as you scan the beam and the designer can get a better feel for how it is affecting uh, the mimic. Uh, the patterns themselves to finish up if we go ahead and look at those and there you are this is the pattern um, uh, in uh, Broadbeam and then I can actually change these and scan the pattern. Now as I do that because I have the mimic involved what it's doing right now is running harmonic balance which will then in turn update the array. This takes a few seconds to run because it is a fairly complicated harmonic balance job. We are running uh, 16 amplifiers here uh, to get the uh, end result. So what you can see, uh, it, it, took, it took about three, four minutes for it to run because again we had to run the harmonic balance on all those elements. Now that it's finished up, as you see, as I change my, in this case, theta, which is the relative phasing to the various elements, I am scanning the array and the really nice thing here is it actually includes the effect of the amplifiers. They're seeing the actual load and they're coupled together. So once again, with in situ antennas, the new feature is we can now couple the circuit and the antenna uh, properties so that in one run you can actually get both effects coupled together. Thanks a lot. See you later.